Welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport and welcome to FM22 with Old Man Phil. And we are here at Newport in the run-in with four games to go and we are in a title race. So, without much further fuss, let's have a look at what has been happening. And if you have been following along this season, you'll know there are 42 games gone already. We are on 81 points, 5 points clear of Forest Green and 7 points clear of Swindon. And so we are red hot favourites to go on and win the title. And all we have to do is win probably two of the last four fixtures and we will have achieved a title victory for Newport. And so it began at Sutton, and Jamie Hilton, who had been without a goal in 15 games, suddenly popped up in the box, and in off the post he got his first goal to end his goal drought. And this was followed in the second half by a typical Lewis Collins goal, and I'm starting to think this boy has got a lot of potential for a young lad, and he scored to make it 2-0. And this was followed by FM, one of FM's more bizarre moments as Colchester came from 4-2 behind in the last 10 minutes to draw 4-4. And that meant that with Forrest Green beating Bristol Rovers by a goal to nil, our lead had been cut by three points at the top of the table. And this was followed by another 2-2 draw away at Port Vale, who also came back from behind in the last 10 minutes to snatch a point. But with Forest Green also being held 2-2 draw, this meant that we were still three points clear going into the final game of the season, and we could afford no more slip-ups in this fixture. And so the time has arrived, and we have a full-strength squad to pick from, and so we've gone for Joe Day in goal. We've gone for a back four of Aaron Lewis, James Clark. Mickey Dimitru and Ryan Haynes. In midfield we have Anaeron Livermore, Ed Upson and Matt Dolan. And Oliver Cooper keeps the attacking midfield role with Timmy Abraham and Lewis Collins, the two youngsters, up top. We simply need a draw. That's all we need and I'm pretty sure that we're set up in such a way as we can achieve that draw against this Rochdale team, which are a little bit on the decline. And as you can see from the table, we are three points clear of Forest Green. A draw will be enough to see us through and over the line. And so let's go to kickoff. And Newport, get us underway at Rodney Parade in this fantastic season that it's been. And here comes Abraham. Now, you guys might notice that a lot of the time that the big TV screen is turned off um, over in the corner there. Um, but I think the board must have paid the bill this week. So we've uh, been able to put the big screen TV on this week. Here's Clark. He passes to Livermore. Livermore to Cooper. Cooper finds Lewis. Lewis inside to Abraham and Collins with a chance. But that's a good block. And Abraham picks it up. He feeds Lewis. Lewis gives it back to Abraham. And Abraham puts in a low, dangerous cross into the box. But we're unable to do anything about that. In terms of possession in the early moments, we are dominating the game. We're not creating a lot of chances as yet, but still dominating the fixture. And here's a corner for Newport. Lewis swings it into the far post and that's headed away. And I'm not quite sure what's happened to my corner routines, but at halftime, I think I need to put that right because I think FM has removed my corner routine or Aaron Lewis is having a particularly bad day. We shall see at halftime. Here's Clark. He finds Lewis. Lewis finds Livermore, who's developing nicely as a footballer, and Aaron Livermore. I've got a lot of faith in him and Collins. And he finds a ball over the top, but that's intercepted and passed back to Lynch. As Rochdale tried to mount an attack. And here they're in the clear. And that is a chance. And that was very direct. Route 1 football. And that's why we are playing with this standard defensive line. 
because Rochdale do a lot of that and we saw them score against us earlier in the season with exactly that kind of um, shall we say through ball and here's Haynes Haynes he looks inside for Upson Upson for Dolan Dolan feeds it into Abraham we have had a lot of possession but we haven't yet made the chances that we've created good chances we haven't made them pay and Forest Green have gone behind at Mansfield and that is great news all we have to do is get a point and now it's been made even better by Mansfield going ahead against Forest Green and that's a poor pass from um, from Aaron Lewis and Rochdale tried to build but our pressing is working at the moment and they're forced back to the goalkeeper Again, Rochdale try to come forward. Again, forcing them backwards, looking to make for them to make an error. And there's a pass inside, and that's easy. That's what's happening with our press, and that's really well done. And here's Abraham in the clear, and he must score. But that is a mile over the bar, and this is a little bit worrying. We are not taking our chances. Um, we're having a lot of possession, creating chance. Here's Dolan with a free kick, and that whistles past the post. And again, it's another chance gone begging. We need to at least get one goal before half time so that we can put the pressure on Forest Green. Um, but at the moment, we can't <laughs> seem to hit a barn door if it fell on us. But here's Abraham. Abraham finds Lewis. What can Lewis do? He looks inside to Livermore. And that's a nonsense ball. Um, picked up by Haynes. Well picked up by Haynes. And Haynes, he has a chance now to cross it. No, he's turned back. Looks for Dolan. Dolan finds Haynes. And it's a little bit messy in midfield. But that's a lovely ball too to Livermore here's Lewis and Livermore's there by his side again like a great midfielder and there's Lewis to Lou and that's a cheeky ball by Livermore and this is a chance and Abraham has scored that is that is it Abraham and it's no less than what we deserved that was a lovely little through ball by Livermore and Aaron Lewis had the presence of mind to pick out Abraham never in doubt we were dominant, and what a lovely little pass. Abraham, he doesn't miss those. And so it's Newport County 1, Rochdale 0. No less than we deserve. 68% possession. We're dominating the match, and we deserve to be a goal to the good. And here's Clark. Clark finds Lewis. Clark brings it forward. And Lewis with the ball over the top looking for Abraham and Abraham must score. He must score, but he's not having the greatest of days today. Um, and it's still only 1-0. And there's Cooper. Cooper fires in a shot, but Abraham has gone on the end of it and he's deflected it past the goalkeeper. And that was never destined to go in, but Abraham had the presence of mind to put his head on it. And that is now Newport 2, Rochdale nil. It was going well wide, and Abraham just put his head on it and deflected it in. Some breathing space now, Newport 2. Rochdale nil, and I'm going to tell Cooper not to, uh, and in fact I have told him not to ease off the tackles, I've told him already, and he's still on a yellow card. Um, and Forest Green are still behind at Mansfield, and this is really good news. We are, again, seven points clear at the top, and as it stands at the moment, we are coasting to the Skybet League 2 title. But here is Rochdale, and that's intercepted. What can Rochdale do? Can they get back into this match? And that's a beautiful inside pass. Good tackle and a good block, and it goes behind for a corner. Our defensive work all season has been top class, 
Uh, our attack has been a bit hit and miss, but there's not much you can say in terms of our defence. We have been solid at the back. And here's newbie for Rochdale. As Rochdale try to build once more. Possession, we've had 61% of the possession. We've had a great deal more in terms of chances, and we deserve to be 2-0 ahead as we're coming up to the last five minutes of the first half. But Rochdale are not sunk yet, and we need to be very, very careful. They are very dangerous with these balls they play over the top. The standard line is paying off at the moment um, but they are looking for different ways and that's easily intercepted Dolan finds Haynes Haynes who's having a good game at left back ups and inside to Dimitru defensively we are looking absolutely sound they've really not bothered us and here's Abraham Abraham with a shot and that what a great goal but unfortunately He's offside. The linesman flag was up. I'm just being told that we should specifically mark someone, but my assistant should know we don't mark anyone. We're not very good at marking. And at half time, it's Newport 2, Rochdale 0. No. Fully deserved. And so let's go to the second half. It's about to begin, and Rochdale get us underway. There has been an awful lot of highlights, but we've created an awful lot of chances. Not many chances for Rochdale, but I think we need to be more clinical in front of goal. Clark intercepts that fairly easily. Our XG is way better than um, Rochdale, although we could be doing a lot better. As Rochdale tried to build, they are looking a little bit more threatening at the moment. I think that playing a little bit more of a shorter game and that's a, a ball over the top and there's a chance and that's again well read by Dimitru Dimitru and it's found its way to Collins Collins he finds Cooper Cooper looking for Collins on the return and there's a chance and what a great save that's a brilliant save and denies Newport a third goal what a fabulous fabulous save and here's Lewis with the corner and he looks for Clark at the near post. And that's gone just past the far post. We have sorted out our corner routines um, at half time, um, which had been tampered with by one of the assistants um, and weren't actually loaded properly. And the instructions hadn't reached the players, unfortunately. So that's now been sorted out as Rochdale tried to build again. And they are passing it around. They're trying to keep possession a little bit more this half. And we have to be wary of them because they just, like that, they can create chances. And that's a good block. I'm not quite sure what Day is doing there. And they've hit the post. I'm not quite sure what my goalkeeper was up to. That was an easy catch. And here come Rochdale again. We're going to have to do something in a moment um, because they are, FM is telling me that they're coming back into this game and we need to change something, I think, before they score. But we'll just see this highlight out before we do. <laughs> and too late, they've already scored. And so, yes, something does need to be done because FM always tell you when someone is coming back into the game and i just left it a few moments too late and what a strike that was um it was just a simple blob over the top finds himself in space and bang that was just a super goal but i need to try and sort something out here before they do it again um he was on side var's having a look but he was way on side boy was that a good hit so we are going to make some changes. We're going to... I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, and please don't tell me to mark people. You should know we don't mark people. Oh, God, I've just clicked the wrong button. Um, so he's going to mark him now anyway. So uh, that's a header over the bar. They don't look very dangerous from crosses. What we're doing, forcing them outside, is absolutely right. the right thing to do. Here's Dimitru. 
Dimitru comes forward. It's going to be a little bit like squeaky bum time here because Rochdale are pressing us and they are finding ways behind our defence. And there's another poor pass. Possession given away again. And I, I'm getting a little nervous here in this month of weird draws as Rochdale come forward again and he's past Haynes. Can Haynes get this away? And there's a chance and it's over the bar. Now we need to, I'm just going to demand more from the team because they seem to have gone off the boil a little bit. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to deal with this. I'm going to make a substitution. We brought on Missalou um, to try and get some energy in midfield. Um, and we're also going to drop in a a defensive midfielder. We're going to try and stop them taking those long shots. Um, and then, hopefully, we're just going to see out this game. We actually only need a draw. They're going to have to score twice, and there's only a few minutes left. And so this is looking very, very nice indeed. And here's a chance for Rochdale, but that's easily dealt with. And Upson finds Haynes. We're just going to pass the ball around now. We've got them playing a little bit of short passing game. And hopefully we're just going to see this game through. And there's a shot from Rochdale. It doesn't really matter. They're still going to need to score twice. And we are still leading by two goals to one. And there's a corner into the box, headed away. And Rochdale will come back at us, but our defence is holding out. Good block, and another good block. And Forest Green have equalised, but it's not going to be enough, as we now go very defensive. And we're going to try and hold on to this result. We're going to just smack the ball up the pitch when we get it just like that um, and try and hold on to this 2-1 lead and there are just like three minutes left and it looks to me like it's the title is going to Newport but Rochdale try once more and that's a good block by Ryan Haynes and the crowd are waiting they're expectant and there's a chance and that's headed over the bar I'm expecting them to score, but it won't matter because 2-2 will be good enough. As you can see, Forest Green have not done enough. And we are going to see this game out. It surely must be full-time referee. And that's it. That's full-time. And Newport County are the Sky Bet 2 champions. And so it's finally over, and Newport have been crowned champions of the Sky Bet League 2 and are promoted at the first attempt to the Sky Bet League 1. We are going out now for a beer to celebrate our victory. If you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button and follow along as we go through our challenges with the Newport County. I'll be back tomorrow with a review of the season and a look ahead to how we plan to at least stay in the Skybet League One next season. And so that's it, and all that remains to be said now from a very passionate Rodney Parade is see you in the next video.